Hello YouTube and welcome back to another episode of The Room. In the last episode I went long, like 30 minutes. And we also, we got the null element, we put it into a box, we teleported to a weird dimension and now we're in another weird place uh, just doing stuff with this box now. And this is getting really uh, creepy creepy. It's always been creepy but this is freaking me out. So here goes the gear, the button is pressed, what do we got? Uh, okay, oh, it's a drawer. Okay. What is this? Strangely shaped key. Old faded tarot cards? Death is coming out. So is Voyage. Uh, I don't really do tar tarot, tarot, tar tarot? I don't think it's called tarot. Is it tarot? I'm not sure, but I've never really uh, seen too much of that. But that's pretty creepy. And in we go. Oh. Okay. Okay. No music box, please. Okay. What does that do? Maybe a different song? Oh, I saw that. Come on. What? I can't stop on it. What? Hmm. Whoa, what is this? Oh! A key. How do I get that, though? Locked? Locked. Okay. Uh, a key? Here's a keyhole. Yep. And turn. Alright, what do we got? Hmm. What are these? Are these slidey doos? No. Whoops, come back. Let's see. Um, I don't recognize these symbols. I don't think they're in music. Um. I don't know. I don't know what this is. Shush, please. None of that. Alrighty, daddy. Okay, let's see if we can land on that other thing now. Damn it, can I like Yay! Okay, can't click it while it's moving. My hands will get cut off. Alright. Wonder what this is. Hmm. It's like triangles pointing to it. Is this a drawer? Can I pull the key out? These look like slidey doos. I don't know. Right, let's look around with the eyepiece. I don't know. Alright. Can we like... What's that? Can I... Can I slide this up? How do I grab that? How did that... Wait. Can I take the key out maybe? Ha! No. Give me the... No. Oh, oh. Can I like... Put that back up? Ah, there we go. All right, there you go. Okay. So now we put it here. Yeah, there you go. Bammo! A metal plate. Oh, oh, does that go to this? Like this? Uh, tia. Hata. Whoa, what the heck? This is different. Oh, boy, is this different. All right, um... What am I looking for right now? Oh god, what was on that side? Um, the harp was on that side, right? This guy. Go. What? This changed, right? Am I insane? Wait. Yeah, it changed. Alright, it changed. Uh, my voice is cracking, because 
It changed, yo. What? Wait, when does it change? Is it when I turn this doodad? That thing is gone now. If I put this back... Does that go back? It goes to over there. Okay. Okay. Does this come into play here? No? Alright. Oh, I didn't expect that. Okay. Oh, alright. Now if we move this back. And then we put this over here. And we go to the... Oh, what? What happened? Oh, it didn't change. Um... So what did change? Wait. Maybe I should turn it. Did that change anything? No? Oh wait! Oh there you go! Okay. Uh, this was the... Harp. Oh, what? Um... Okay, wait. Put it back up to the- Oh, they're corresponding on the triangles! Okay, so if I go over here, the up triangle will be up. Okay. Alright, here we are. These buttons? Oh! Whoa! Whoa! Hi! Oh! Okay. Oh! Hello! This is another perspective doodad. Um, wait, go back. Back to... <gasps> it's gonna show me the codes! Oh, baby. Okay. What do we got? This one can't move, so... If I find one... Excuse me, if I find one that lines up with this dude... Five, seven... Three is one of them. Let's try that. Five, seven, three. Oh, got it. Hey, -o. oh, bye. Oh, hi there. Okay. Can't zoom in on that. Um, oh, all right. What are we looking at? Uh, bottom right. Wait, what? Is it a sliding puzzle? What is this? Oh, shoot, come back. Don't do that, please. Huh. Hmm. Metal plate? No. Huh, this thing just looks straight up like an iron. Alright. Okay. Um... What am I seeing? Alright, we can't do anything there yet. Metal plate! Eh. Alright, did something else open when I did that doodad puzzle? Hmm. Hey, wait, wait, wait. Maybe the metal plate goes here. Ah, there you go. Okay. Is this a piano? <gasps> it's a piano! Uh, B, F. Oh, it looks like a coin slot. Um, what is it? Uh, no, no, it was higher, but B. No, B. No. Okay, anyways, um, let's get into the zone here. Oh, wait. 
No? Okay, coin slot when we hit B and F. Alright. Back out, back out. Um, we need a coin then. Hmm, coins don't just fall out of the sky though. You know what I'm saying, boys? They just don't. Okay, wait, I don't think we can do anything with that, but look down here. It looks like something changed. <gasps> it's the things! Okay, uh, three is the S, uh, two is the square doodad, and one is the triangle. Alright, 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 alright. Three is the S, two is the square doodad, and one is the triangle. Yeah! Give me a coin! hey -o! How'd I know? How'd I know? Okay, let's put it into the piano. I get so into this. That's why that last episode was so long. Yeah. Okay, don't do that. Oh. Oh, button. Oh, no more? Okay. Sounds like there's a heartbeat now. I see now. Okay. Do, 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 do. Thank you for teaching me how to play the theme. This is a, the entry theme to this game. Oh, a small metal handle. A metal handle. Oh, bye piano. Huh. Later. Okay. All right, handles. Um, for here. Ha. And ha. Okay. Turn. Wait. Put on the eyepiece. Turn it. Turn it good. Okay. Now what do you do? Okay. In! Alright, I got you. I got you. I'm picking up what you're putting down. I'm picking up what you're setting in front of me, that delicious meal. No, I'm not. What? What? What's what? Alright. I thought I was picking up the delicious meal. Guess I am not. Well, let's do something else then. Oh! It's gone! Oh, it's gone. It's up there now. What the frick frack snick snack is going on here? What? The doodad. It's taking the pieces. You can't have them, they're mine. It's taking the pieces and putting them into the puzzle. That's banana bread insane. No, turn it one more. Like that. And turn it like this. And did it do it? No. Mm. How do I get it to be down there? Huh. So if I turn it back like this. Then that way. It should be at the bottom, right? Oh, there it is. There it is. Okay. Is that it? But there's a thing there. What the fuck, dude? Alright. How about that? I don't fucking know. How do I- what, what am I doing wrong? Ah, there we go! Oh, it was a pain in the ass. But I got it. Oi, oi, that was hard. It's like a Rubik's Cube, I've never solved it before. Never solved the Rubik's Cube in my life. Alright, hello, gem. Red jam and- oh, I know where that goes. Okay, hello? Oh, bye. I thought it went down here, but now I'm just not sure. Hello? Oh, I'm zoomed in. I couldn't tell. Okay. I think it goes here. Ha! Push it in. Alright, well first, let's look at this thing. Hi. Okie dokie. Can I 
Okay, I can slide these. So it's a slidey puzzle. Alright. Oh, do I have to get them into the corners? Alright. Alright. Yeah, buddy! Ha! I felt so smart. Oh, yeah, wait. These gems look like the same cut as this one here, but how do I get them out? I can't get them out. They're in the board. What is this, too? Is this a perspective thing? What are you? No, I think I need more gems, but how do I... Nope, nope, sorry, sorry. How do I get them out? Hmm. How do I get these gems out? Huh. Oh, maybe the back of the panel? Oh! Oh! I can only get them through the back, just like the other puzzle. All right. Let's gather all of them then. Cool, figured it out. Okay. Oops. Up and down. Yeah, buddy! Are you going away now? Alright, let's put them all in there. Making progress. I can remove it again if I need to. Alright. Only the blue one? Oh, uh, I can remove them all. Okay. Ah, geez, it spins. Okay. So now this should form a shape, right? Uh, it does not look right. Okay, that does not look right at all. Okay, so we can we can change all of them except for the red one. So let's switch around the green and the blue one. See if that does anything. I'm assuming it's supposed to make this shape right here. Okay, that's no good. Um, okay, wait. Maybe I shouldn't do this all at once. Let's just try one of the gems. Alright, alright. That looks good. Looking good. Okay, so now... Which one goes in this slot? Is it blue? Okay, okay. Looking good. And green? Okay, no, come on, come on. Hup. And... Hi, okay. Nice, nice, nice! We're doing it, boys! Ooh. Hello, hello! What is this? Oh no, bro. Okay, okay, I see what you're doing. I got this. You think you can, uh, get the drops on me? No way, no how. I'm a pace- uh, pu I'm a puzzle-solving master. Oh god, this episode's already been going for 25 minutes. I need to seriously keep an eye on how long I've been recording. Alright. And, is that in? No, we need to get in the middle. There you go. Ha! Easy peasy lemon squazzy! Hi. Ooh. Ooh, pretty. Yeah, and I'm guessing it's a perspective thing to line up uh, with the other thing. Themes that we've been going through this entire- Okay, there's something behind it. Alright, well. So we gotta just line it up with this thing. Okay! Hi! Oh, another maze. Okay. Alright, I can do that. But, anyways. Um, I'm gonna try and keep this episode moderately normal uh, recording length. Because... I've been recording for, uh, now there's choice, alright, over an hour, uh, and I don't want, I don't like to record for that long because the risk of losing footage is huge, so I'm just gonna be careful and 
say I'd rather do this, but I'm gonna try and keep this one not half an hour long. All right, new perspective thing, please. All right, what do we got? What do we got? Where is the? Ah. All right, and I can turn it. I see. All right. Okie dokies. Easy peasy lemon squads. Eee, look at that. Hey -o. New maze, please. Ah! What? Oh! Oh no! Oh no! Oh my god! <laughs> okay! Game complete! You made it through, unflustered, I hope, as there will surely be sterner tests to come. You've taken the first step on a longer journey. I see no benefit in hiding the truth of your predicament. There is no way back, not for any of us. For now, you were trapped as I. Press forward with heart, my friend. There are many more rooms ahead. The door is open now. See, that door is open. All right. That was fantastic. Um, I'm gonna guess that that is the end of the game. That things don't change. Um, when you restart the game, like the, it's just the same same game over and over. But if it's different, and like if I was to start a new game and stuff would be different, please let me know in the comments, and I might play through it uh, on my own time. I don't think I'll be making another video of it. This is, I guess, gonna be the finale. I didn't see it coming. Um, so you're gonna see a really weird cut. Uh, between, uh, like, in the last five minutes of the video of the gameplay footage, you're gonna see a really weird cut. It's gonna be kind of awkward because what happened was I recorded about 25 minutes, um, and then stopped, and then I was like, I'll just do another episode because I don't want to make it too long. And I didn't know the finale was coming, so, uh, this episode I've been recording is only a minute, uh, 40 seconds long, so I'm just gonna cut it, uh, cut the outro out of the last episode, cut the intro of this one, and just lump them together, so that's why it'll be kind of awkward. But, that is the end of the room! I knew we were kind of coming to a close because the game is about two hours long, I've heard. Uh, I wrote it down over here on my journal, but I've, I've heard it's about two hours long and we've been playing it for a while, so I, I should have expected it. My, my fault, uh, bad preparing on my part, so I apologize for that. But this game was fan- Fantastic. This game challenged the brain. It challenged every aspect of stuff that you had. There were hints, there were, and I used it once or twice. Um, I didn't really like to, but sometimes when I got super, super stuck, like uh, with the with the first uh, perspective thing, I got stuck there. So I used a hint, and it, they, they are helpful hints, but the way the hint is set up is it's like maybe you could look around the box and try to find this. It does not give you the answer right away, and I really appreciated that. It still left the uh, puzzle solving stuff up to you, whether or not you wanted to use as many hints as you could, and it also made it so that you couldn't use the hints right off the bat. You had to wait for them to show up, which was pretty, pretty good mechanic to me. So this game, you're a dude who comes in to a room, uh, searching for a guy because he's been dabbling with paranormal shit, and you duh, wanna, you're into that, so you're looking around in this room, Finding this guy's notes, uh, and just f solving these puzzles and trying to figure out what is going on in here. And for this game, very limited mechanics. There's really, there's no people in the game. There's no dialogue. There's nothing like that. But there, there's still a connection. You know what I'm saying? You're following this guy through his notes, through his research, and following him through all these puzzles that he's solved and stuff that he's done. And it still made you feel like you weren't as alone as you were. Uh, at least for me. It made me feel like I was connected to this dude, I was trying to figure out what happened to him, what's going on, what's gonna happen to me, and it made the game that much creepier, knowing that you did not know what was ahead of you, or what happened to him. It made the game incredibly creepy. Okay, here we go. So, five US dollars on Steam. This game is five US dollars. Absolutely fantastic game. I really enjoyed the puzzles. Uh, game mechanics, pretty simple. All you do is use the mouse, click, hold, and click, uh, to scroll around the box or the puzzle, whatever you're looking at. Zooming in, uh, just using the mouse the entire time, no con no keyboard controller necessary. That was really good. Uh, story? There- there is story. There is a lot of story in this game. There's a lot of story. Be it, like, through the notes that this guy's leaving behind, or through what your character says as you're clicking on stuff, like, I wonder what happened. 
I, I, I don't know how to do this. Stuff like that. Your character progresses through this game and you can click on things and be like, maybe I should. Like, your character is thinking and doing stuff in the moment that you were doing it. I thought that was interesting, but... Story! <laughs> story is there. The story, I don't know how deep it goes. It's pretty deep, because basically it's just you and this dude in notes. And his research throughout the entire game. And that's just it. It's just you guys. And that's fantastic. I think that made for an awesome game. It was awesome because it tell it's a story that tells a story without the need for dialogue or for another person or even for any kind of interaction with characters at all. You just basically just go through this thing and figure it out on your own. And that's amazing. It's not something that games can do too often nowadays. And this game does it really, really well. Graphics of this game are beautiful. They really, really, really are. I'm not sure what engine it is, um, but it's it's beautiful. For how simple the game is, and how simple the mechanics are, and the goal of the game is, uh, the amount of detail put into the boxes, put into the design, into the puzzles, even stuff that you couldn't interact with. Like, I, I noticed throughout every box, there's like little uh, metal, what do you call, embellishments on the boxes that are super intricately carved out. You can tell that somebody went in there and they put the effort into making all of the, uh, the, the slight cuts into the metal. Some of the metals were actually scratched up and stuff like that. It's just really fine details in this game that really make it what it is. It, it, it's really fantastic. And of course the puzzles themselves were awesome. They were amazing. I haven't seen anything like it. You would do one thing on the box and it would trigger another thing. You would turn one knob and it would turn something else the other way. And they also got harder as you progressed. Uh, the beginning puzzles were easy. They kind of introduced you to the, the, um, the aspect of the game, to what the game's about. And then they gradually got harder and harder and harder up to the end where they were actually pretty dang difficult. Uh, <laughs> There were some that I didn't figure out right away, but that's because my brain was in a different place, and it just kind of depends on your train of thought and how you think, and that's awesome. It's freaking fantastic, guys. Sound in this game, fantastic. It has to be fantastic because this game is just you clicking, but all the little metallic clicking sounds, the little whirring sounds, the, uh, the sounds of stuff that you're sliding around, that stuff really adds to the atmosphere of this game. Atmosphere, very creepy. There were no real scares. The end was kind of scary with the, the cracking of the lens and the dude just standing there for a frame. That was kind of scary, but that was like it. But the game sets you up with this creepy atmosphere. You can hear like in the room around you, although you can't see, you can never see it. It's always dark. It's just you looking at this box and there's dark around you. You can hear like footsteps, you can hear heartbeats, you can hear rising uh, orchestra music, you can hear the creaking of the house, you can hear all of these noises around you that just put you in this atmosphere like that just makes you uncomfortable, makes your goosebumps on your arms rise, you're just like, uh, this is kind of creepy, is something gonna pop out and scare me, but it never does, and ah uh, man, it had me on edge the entire time, so that that's fantastic. This game is really great, overall I'd rate it a 9 out of 10 guys, this is really, I, I really enjoyed this game. If puzzle games are your thing, absolutely check out the room. Absolutely check out the room 2 and 3. I have no doubt in my mind that they are going to be just as good, even better than this game. They're probably going to have a lot more aspects. I imagine that they continue from where you are now, because you're supposedly trapped in this world with this scientist who is researching the null element. Supposedly you're trapped in there with him. And I, I assume they just continue on from there, so they're probably gonna get spoopier, creepier, just really just making you just, ah, tear your hair out at puzzles and just enjoy the ride along the way. So, this is gonna be the last episode of this game, guys. I really enjoyed playing through this. Special thank you to Fireproof Studios, again, for letting me play through their game, and thank, thank you for just watching my videos and enjoying them. I hope I did your game justice by playing through it. I really, truly do, um, because this game is fantastic. So guys, please support the creators. I'll leave a couple links down in the description below as always. Please check out their website. They have some other games that are up that are no doubt in my mind fantastic just like this one. I'll leave a link to the room store page on Steam so you can buy it yourself if you'd like to. <coughs> Reminder that it's five US dollars uh, on Steam and the room two and three are mobile exclusive so they won't be on there but <coughs> I'll also leave a link to The Room's website, uh, where you can check out more about the game if you want to learn about whatever they have on the website, stuff, how the game was made, I, I assume is up there. Um, 
But please guys, check out these creators. This is seriously fantastic. My mind is completely boggled. I can't even imagine how much thought and time went into making this game. So guys, please check them out. I'd really appreciate it. But that is going to be the end of this episode and the end of this series. Thank you guys so much for going through this game with me. I really appreciate it. This has been one of my favorite games that I've played through on the channel. So I, I'm super excited because this... I'm sad that it's over, but... This game was strong until the very end. There was no point in time where this game just slowed down and I was getting bored. I was always invested, always interested, always wanted to figure out the next puzzle. This game is awesome, guys. Please check it out. If you can. <coughs> Anyways, I think that's about it for my babbling. Of course, this is just my opinion on the game. This is my review. If you don't agree with it, I'm sorry. It's just my opinion. I love this game. I loved it so, so much. I don't feel like any other puzzle game will amount to what the room has shown me. And that's fantastic. That bar is high now. That's a high bar. It's a very high bar. If a dummy like me can solve these puzzles, then you can. Anyways, <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching this series. If you enjoyed it, please leave me a like or a comment down below the video. As a reminder, this is going to be the finale. Please check this game out if you want to on your own. But uh, we'll come back next Tuesday, Thursday with a different game. And it'll be a, yes, it'll be a fan dilly dang tastic time. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed me, then please subscribe for some, some fun and games in the future. Thank you so much for watching. Have a fantastic day, night, wherever you guys are, and stay safe out there. I will see you next day, tomorrow, in the next video. Bye-bye. All I see is the, oh, there's a body. Oh my god, there's a body. Oh god, no! Okay, well... Get numb.